Hello everybody, this is Tony from Historic American Homes and I wanted to share with you what I am working on at the moment. This what you see here is not my work. This is a design by Francis Terry, great British classical architect currently working in the UK. He has his own office and he does really beautiful classical work. So this is a recent design of his and what I liked about it was he took this set of details, a sort of like a set of ingredients, and he combined them in different ways to make different houses. So here is another one. So here we see those same basic palette of details applied to a second plan. And he did a whole series. It's quite lovely. So anyway, that inspired me to try it on my own. So this is what I'm working on at the moment. So first of all, warning, this is very much in progress. There's a lot of missing stuff here and oddnesses, oddities of all kinds, but we will get to that. So I've got a two bedroom model on the left that's gonna be about 1150 square feet. I don't remember the square meterage of that, but basically divide by a little bit more than 10. In the middle, I've got a three bedroom model with a two car garage. The three bedrooms are on the upper level. And at the end, a four-bedroom model with a one, one ground floor bedroom. Here we can see a little more of the four-bedroom model. It's got a two-car garage. I just put that little cupola on it yesterday. And what I had a lot of fun with was the porches. I want to make a few more porch designs and then make them like options where you can pick and choose between your porches. But basically, you'll see it's the same elements all throughout, the same cornice line, the same type of windows and sh window shutter treatment, the same type of chimney. On this drawing we see all three ground floor plans. On the left we have the two bedroom model, so it's a simple, almost like a townhouse style with a slightly oversized one car garage. I've tucked the laundry in the back of the garage, the entrance is in the corner and it's basically one big room downstairs. I've bumped a kind of a bay off the back which serves to expand the dining area. And I've given it a fireplace on the side and one window on the side because I was concerned about getting decent natural light into the space. So this plan is not meant to be a duplex attached along one side. You could do that but you'd sacrifice a window here and I think that window is important. In the middle is the sec uh, second model and this is the ground floor. We have an entrance in the middle to the left of the entrance, a large sitting room that wraps around, again, a bay that serves as a dining area, and then a pretty comfortably comfortable sized kitchen here. Everything wraps around a central staircase. There's a powder room and a uh, laundry cabinet on the ground floor off the kitchen. The stairs lead right down into sort of the kitchen and breakfast area, and they take you upstairs. Well, we'll see the up upper floor, but first we'll move on to the larger model on the right, we have an entrance in the middle. In fact, these two models have the same width. So the entrance is in the middle. There's a guest room, downstairs bedroom, home office type room on the right, and then the main living room on the left. Uh, a big family room dining that spreads across the back. And then in the center, a beautiful staircase spiraling up. There's a skylight on the large landing so you'll get natural daylight coming down in the middle of the house all the way down to the ground floor. Off to the right there is uh, a bathroom on the ground floor and a laundry area and then the two-car garage. And this is the upper level for all three. We've got a smaller bedroom facing the street on our two-bedroom model on the left, a smaller bedroom facing the street, a larger bedroom facing the back. The back bedroom has its own bath the front bedroom has a shared bath which would be used by guests um, as well, visitors. In the middle, the three bedroom model, I've got two bedrooms on the left, a bath over the landing and there's going to be a linen closet tucked in next to the bathroom. And on the right side of the plan, master bedroom has its own bath with a tub and a shower and a moderate sized walk-in closet. This model the, the small, the townhouse there is about 1150 square feet. The three bedroom model is about not quite 1800 square feet, about 1750 square feet. And then the larger of the three is at about 2700 square feet. And this is the one I'm working on at the moment, so it's the least developed. We have staircase coming up. I mentioned that it was wide 
open staircase and large landing with a skylight in the center so that there's plenty of natural light in the middle of the house. There's a bedroom in each of the front corners. There's a space in between which can serve as a play space or study for children in these rooms. There's a bathroom. I've moved the laundry down to the ground floor so this bathroom has been expanded and there's a linen closet. And then stretching across the back and along the right side is going to be master bedroom suite which I'm working on at the moment. And we'll take a look at a few of the porches. So there's the porch for the small house. And I went through three iterations on the little brackets to support this cornice. Now this is the second iteration and I've developed it beyond this and changed it. So this is no longer quite up to date. But I'll do a, another video in the next few days showing the latest. As you can see, I hadn't yet gotten a roof on this garage. Here's the three bedroom model and it has a Tuscan porch that extends out about three feet from the front of the house so it's a shallow porch. I originally had a heavier proportion than this. I think I'll cover that in more detail in the next video. I lightened it up considerably to go with the lighter wooden sort of early American wood style here which is a little lighter kind of a style. And then here's the four bedroom model and it has a quite a bit more grandiose front porch. I may, I'm going to explore the possibility of putting an elliptical fan light over this door and see if I can make that work with this porch. So that's it. That's what's on the boards at the moment. And I'll update this in a few days. I hope you liked this. I look forward to hearing from you. I'm going to upload this into Instagram but also onto my YouTube channel where people can watch it more carefully and make comments and ask questions and so forth. Have a great day. See you all again soon. Bye-bye.